Hey everybody, Dr. Red here, and we are back with some XCOM 2. So it looks like we are doing uh, the council mission here, in which we have to extract a very important person from Advent City. Yeah, our rewards will be a bunch of intel, hopefully we'll get into that later, and uh, a squaddy specialist, which, eh, it's okay. Would rather an engineer or scientist, but what can you do? Okay, so we're just going to go on and travel over here really quickly, and see what we can do with our squad. So we do have squaddy specialist here from Haddad who was in our last mission, a ranger, sharpshooter, ranger, grenadier. Uh, Tuples is out of action at the moment, so I feel like this is a, well, fairly balanced team in all honesty. So let's uh, get this show on the road. Actually, I don't know if we want to be dealing with double rangers now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe have Kelly here, I think we should have a different grenadier available. Ah, uh, no, 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 not at the moment, no. Alrighty then, we pretty much just have a choice. Let's go with Mary Lee, she sounds like she's hot shit. Okay, and uh... Maybe since she'll be forward a lot, I don't know. I haven't had great use with the flashbang in self yet. But our specialist can run the med kit. Ah, what the hell, let's run a flashbang. See if we can make it work for us. Now let's get her done. There we go, begin our mission operation glass window. So again, while we're doing this lovely loading screen here, I'd just like to give a quick thanks to everyone who's still watching the series. Falling behind a little bit, hope, but hopefully these two will be coming up tomorrow and then two subsequently every day, yada yada yada. Again, comment if you would like to be added to the pool of units. Hopefully we might be needing more recruits pretty soon, so hopefully we can get some viewers in there, of course. Let's see, it looks like we have to extract them, yada yada yada. Probably gonna run into the usual units, plus Vipers, more Lancers, your our favorites, but we do have the upgraded swords, I believe, on our rangers. It's pretty bad if I'm forgetting this already. And the base rifle, so our specialist should be fine. We're not really bringing in any rookies, so they won't really be effective there. This is our VIP here. In this case, let's see if we can tab on to them. Alex Butler. Pretty much useless right now. It can move here. And it should have, she should have a hunker down button. There we go, yeah. Pretty much 12 turns to keep them alive. Uh, in this case, our ranger here does have concealment, so we can be a little bit more haphazard about moving up. See how we want to do it. We can go around that way, but I feel like if we're just ignoring units this way, we're going to run into issues of a different sort later. We're gonna run over here with Miss Lee. Haven't shown anything yet, which is good. Scary, but good. Slowly advancing. But again, we are on a clock, so as much as I'd like to take my time here, not really the option to do so at the moment. Alien activity. Haven't seen anything yet, so it's a. Uh, Move forward a little bit with our concealed Jane Kelly here. Still nothing, huh? It's a little bit weird. Let's move her up here. We should spot something. Or not. Okay, okay. Our ranger's up in there. Uh, let's see if we can get some high ground advantage going on up here. She's gonna move Haddad up here, get him a uh, height advantage. There we are, so we do have to deal with the sectoid there. Just kicking right through the building. Okay, okay. That's not really good for us, but thankfully everyone else is in relatively good position to deal with them. So what are we dealing with at the moment? Your usual advent trooper and a sectoid, which we have a flanking shot on. So if we're lucky, we'll get a crit and a hit, of course, but... See if we're about to get disappointed. 
opposite of disappointed, even though I wish we rolled one more damage on that, but we are totally fine still. Can't do anything. Coin flip over here to see if we can deal with that Advent Trooper. Beautiful. I think that's the end of our moves, other than our VIP, who we're not going to be doing anything aggressive with. Everyone has that really greasy ponytail. I really should deal with that at some point, probably off camera. So hopefully Sectoid doesn't do anything too productive. I think he's going for a res, which is in all honestly meaningless for him. Oh yeah, we're totally in the clear. That pod that went down super easy. The only downside is we're going to have to waste a whole action in dealing with it. Speaking of, I um, may as well get our Mary Lee here, the ranger who doesn't have concealment, just a free kill here. Save some ammo, just as a little slash. Perfect. That'll deal with the zombie over there. Slowly getting to the point where she can no longer stay concealed. We're not quite there, but sensor tower is kind of in our way. See, we're going to move uh, Hadad forward a little bit. Not seeing anything yet. There's a yellow move, but at least we are going to end up in cover. Remember, only one pod so far. We haven't really accomplished much. Let's see if we can go about moving uh, Butler up forward. Upon our sniper, we would like on the high ground I'd ideally, so we're probably going to use a couple of their moves, just getting them to the highest point of this building. If we get them into the top corner, basically up here, they should be able to do basically anything. But we are going to be stealing this uh, spot for Jesus for the moment. Haven't found anything. Very strange. See if I go up here with uh, Kelly, if she can find anything. Because there should definitely be more for us to deal with. Okay, I found where the stuff for us to deal with is. Uh, thankfully, Kelly is still concealed. It's really good for us. Get her in cover here. Run Mary Lee over here. Oh, camera's being a little bit weird. XCOM has a tendency of sometimes breaking its geometry for fun, it seems, but truly don't want to do anything too reckless here. We still have nine turns, but I still think we have two pods to deal with, which is uh, a little bit not good. There we go. Now we have some sight up here. That's good. Weird bugs. So they're going to patrol a little bit more. I hope they don't jump to the... That was magical. I don't think there's any other word for that. Did get in vision of our other troops, however, we did miss our reaction shot. So Kelly somehow has a really good shot on this one, so we are going to take that. Not good enough, but better than nothing. That being said, we are going to run up here and do a little slush slash on him. Or is that our ideal move? Because we can go here and do a diagonal and take care of the officer, potentially. Very risky, but... Upgraded our sword, may as well use it to its fullest. What did we sight here that I regret sighting? Perfect. Problem later. Problem sooner than later, <laughs> I suppose. But, uh, see how badly she's flanked and we can go from there. 69, 
the number. 79, 41. We do have to go for the 79. Take your high shots first. Okay, so that's dealt with there. We still have that Lancer in there, though. I'm figuring. We still have a shot with our specialist Haddad here. So if we jump down, put us in range, and hopefully we can deal with the Lancer before it deals with us. Coin flip. Not in our odds. Bad luck there. But if we were to shift you over a little bit, like down here, we'll have another chance to take it out with our Grenadier. Um, we're flanked there. Let's see what we can do here first. Another coin flip. Much better. Oh, a little picture of tuples on the wanted board. So we still have eight turns. I'm hoping this might be our last pod, but let's see what we can deal with. She is flanked, so hopefully that's not good. The way it pulled it, didn't get the grab, but I think there's two lancers. No, just a. Okay, so the game is bugging out a little bit. We are being grasped by the viper there. Should basically look like a chokehold type deal, but. You know what? Doesn't have to work perfectly every time, I guess. We do have a shot on that trooper. It's not good, but I'm not going to get another shot with him this turn. But good enough, apparently. So that's all that matters, really. We move you here. You'll have a shot on the Viper unit. Ooh, flanking shot. Perfect. If we're lucky, we'll crit and kill it. If, but to be fair, we have to be lucky to hit it too. Don't mind me, just winning the game. Which means we should actually have a move with Kelly there, looting the loot. Ooh, two lyrium cores. Pretty soon, it's going to be very valuable for us. In this case, we do have this little buddy here. However. I'm gonna risk it, it's just an overwatch shot. To hit for three, she's gonna be injured next round, but that's, ooh, I forgot she already took a hit from the Viper. Didn't even kill him either, that's, might be a mistake on my part, now that we're thinking about it. Let's see if there's anyone who can do anything about this. Doesn't look like we're getting a shot here, so my misplay there might end up costing us our uh, newly recruited uh, unit there. That's, that's no good. Start moving Butler up forward. We're lucky we can get it. I'm not sure if that's saying it's going off or not, but there's no harm in trying, I suppose. Okay, so he is disoriented. So he won't slash, but he'll still have a point blank shot. So we might have bought her some time, but probably not enough to keep her alive. That's quite the jump you did there, Kelly. He's still disoriented. Can't really see what he's doing, but he's probably just going to go for a point blank shot. Really, an Overwatch that basically has saved us here. We're going to go for the 100% hit with the shotgun. No rolling dice with any swords. Oh boy, <laughs> that was uh, really close. So let's see if we are in a uh, sprinting range with. Where are you? Butler. Not quite, so we're going to have Kelly jump up here. Not quite going to the extraction, just in case there's a unit sitting up here. Overwatch. Overwatch. 
shifting everyone forward. We're totally fine on time. Six uh, turns is a lot. But reinforcements are probably going to start pouring in. Here, that'll keep them there for the next turn. Reloading no longer finishes your full move, so we can go to an overwatch. And we really got to start moving our sniper forward. As we're probably going to spend three of these turns just running him to a UAC. Where are we? Okay, Butler, you're free to go. Uh, no matter if you've used all your action actions, as long as you get to this little purple square, you're able to extract without issue, so that's definitely a plus. Very good for us. Actually, I'm going to run over here to Mary Lee and get her out just in case. She'll be gravely wounded, but hell, she deserves a rank up if nothing else. Go. Let's keep everyone else out and about for now. Oh, Dupont's actually in range to get out. That's good. I think that means we should be able to get everyone out right now. Maybe not Ramirez. We might have a spot there after we do the extraction, but we might have to wait on him. Well, I'm literally one block away, but you know what? We can wait. So you move your whole extra tile there and we can evac and all things considered that went very well for us. We're going to be down a ranger, well, wounded, but other than that, some pretty good damage per attack going on, relatively high shot percentage, that's good, especially for how many low-ish shots we've taken. Mary Lee did do some good work, but not going to matter when she's out of order for a few days. So let's see if we've got some decent rank ups here. Hopefully we'll start seeing some cooler stuff. But okay, good. Ooh, Advanced Warfare Center. Serial. Every kill made with a shot. Oh man, that could be really good for her. Jesus. However, I still do want to work on a Blade Master. I feel like they have a higher death rate, but that extra two on all sword rolls is pretty good. Especially after investing that point in. Uh, Hottie here leveled up. Uh, I feel like medical protocol is kind of useful. Combat protocol is okay. Definitely shows it's worth later, but medical protocol at this point is much much better. DuPont. See here's the thing. Um, Deadeye seems like it's good and expert with a huge boost of damage but it's not worth the risk and lightning hands is basically a free pistol shot whenever the hell it's off cooldown. Great for finishing him off. A couple lyrium cores, the hair trigger we got earlier, the squatty specialist which we'll probably bring along at some point. Supply drop right away. We do have the Proving Ground started. Good, I totally thought I forgot that, but you know what? Let's not talk about that. Here we are. Ooh, this is really good because uh, we can't even have ac access to improved grenades or ammos yet, so we will definitely do that right after we're done with the Black Market. And maybe the Supply Drop. Oh boy, that's not good, especially this early. Uh, basically, on the overmap, there'll be a UFO pretty much zipping around as we're doing our things. At some point, we'll eventually, for lack of a better term, crash midair. I'm not sure the chance, but you can pretty much do evasive maneuvers and hopefully dodge it and you're fine. Otherwise, they will take you down and you'll have to do a big old base defense mission, which are very rough, especially this early in the game. Supply drop's good. We can pick up a corporal and a doctor available at the base, it'll cost of supplies, but retaliation strike in two weeks, facility in three weeks, I don't want to, I'll do it, let's see. Midnight raids, uh, 
increased recruit cost, so hopefully we'll not have to worry about that at that point. We are going to finish with this black market because I just want it done. Oh, a little UFO. Cool. So let's see, uh, scope, hair triggers, etc, etc. Here's the thing, I really don't care about the hair triggers. The ch chance to proc at this point in the game isn't worth it to me. Scopes are good. Not getting rid of that or Illyrium cores. Made that mistake in my last playthrough and never had Illyrium cores to spare. So let's see, we can get a bunch of supplies, a corporal, some research rushing. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Mass agility is pretty alright. Supply shortages will happen. Alloys. I want to do this, but I don't feel like it's worth it because we won't have the funds to actually upgrade the armor and get the sets we need at the moment, so. Wait and see there. So we got a few things there. There's the little UFO just doing its little patrol, bouncing around the map. Makes everything very tense. I am sure you will find the Goss weapons are complete. So in short, we can pretty much make the mag cannon and the Goss rifle here. Pretty much improve sniper, improve heavy. I think we might bite the bullet on the intel. I'll see how much we, what cost we have to work with, so we'll resume research on that. We didn't really get anything started there anyways. Let's see, uh, engineering, build items. Kind of Oh man, we really need engineers. We can't do any of those right now. Bad luck on the engineer front too. So, um, finish our supply drop here. Fly back to HQ. We do have some supplies to work with, so we can hopefully pick up an engineer for sale, for lack of a better term. Recruit some new staff. A scientist and a grenadier. We have two scientists. We don't really need a third at this point in time. A corporal grenadier would be good, but that's expensive. He's a very expensive boy. So I guess we're going to start working on the grenade and ammo scan over here. Uh, I was really hoping for an engineer. That's really bad. Guess we'll see what we have to work with in the black side missions when those pop up. What do we have to work with, anyways? One week for the retaliation strike. Three week white weeks on a facility. Hopefully, we can get this done before the week clock is on the retaliation. And guerrilla ops. Okay, so let's see if we have an engineer here. Intel. <laughs> and another scientist. Okay, so let's see what we have to counter here. Midnight raids, not a big deal to me. Intel would be nice, but it's not too bad. Easy mission, so we'll be able to keep people alive. Maybe take a couple shaken units out. And another scientist, which is fine. I really want an engineer. But uh, we'll work on that uh, next episode. Again, thanks everyone for watching. My name's Dr. Rhett, and catch you next time.